You're up early. Oh my god. Are you okay? Here, let me help you out. I didn't mean to, really. I came here to do my usual morning yoga routine. Um, I'd suggest that you join me in my morning yoga, but you look like you could use a hot shower and a change of clothes. Don't make it a regular thing, okay? It's still so early in the morning. What? You've made you wake up that early to do chores? I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, I'm really glad we had that talk last night. Because of your summer fling, right? Good morning, Redfall staff. Good morning, Eve. Oh yeah, you did a really good job with the chores. You two ready for the big day ahead? Today the girls have quite a few activities they'll be participating in. Group activities, team building and such. Those activities you and Kiara will be leading. What? Isn't that a job for you? However, these activities are simpler, rooted more in developing cooperation and camaraderie among peers. Don't worry, your jobs will be easy, maybe even a little fun. Yes, but you better be on your best behavior, both of you. You two go ahead to the girls' campground. I'll be right behind you. Let's go. We can keep talking on the way there. Because I can imagine what you're going through. I've been there. 
I'm not much older than you, but those years I had when you taught me a lot. <sighs> that not everything is meant to be. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself, but you two are still so fresh. It's just your hormones talking. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't have pushed you. Great, you're both here. Kiara, go get the girls and bring them outside. <laughs> Only if I get something out of it. Activity? I better not get dirty. But I'm sure Violet is excited. She loves outdoor activities. If you mean sports, then yes, Naomi. I do love outdoor activities. Let's go? That's no way to talk to a lady of my heritage. I'll punish you for that sometime. You look better when you're not soaking wet. I'm just glad you didn't die of hypothermia before you made it to the shower. You were shaking so much, it looked like you overdosed on Red Bull. Anyway, I'm glad you didn't freeze to death. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to join me in yoga like you promised. girls. Today is a big day with many activities ahead of you. Ooh, I love activities. <clears throat> the first of which is synchronized swimming exercises. Why must it be something so cold? After that, you'll all need to change into something more athletic. Athletic? I'm not going to do anything that will make me sweaty and gross. I draw the line at volleyball. That's fun, at least. You don't have to participate, but it will be detrimental to the healing process. I don't care. I'll take the L there. Please no more interruptions, ladies. We shouldn't delay things any further. Once you change into athletic clothes, you'll go to the volleyball field. You'll be playing Red Rover. It's a great game to improve teamwork. Later, once the sun is set, we'll have another campfire session. Until then, Kiara and will be your supervisors. You'll be the lifeguard during the swimming exercise, so I expect you to be ready on the dock. Good, Kiara. You'll be leading the ladies in their exercise. Sure thing, Eve. Please be as cooperative as possible, everyone. These activities aren't meant to be punishing. They're to help you all get along better and to bring down your barriers. So, go get changed, everyone. Meet back at the dock as soon as possible.
Talking to yourself? Maybe you'll be Eve's next patient. I think an even better view is right behind you. Ladies, today we'll be doing some simple synchronized swimming routines. Nothing too complicated. Dr. Eve wanted to make sure you didn't go too far out of your comfort zones. I don't particularly enjoy swimming at all. Especially now when the water's so cold. I'm sorry to hear that, Stacy, but you'll need to participate. You all need to work together in harmony to make this a breeze. You'll stand watch on the dock as a lifeguard. Make sure all the girls are safe, and if something goes wrong... Exactly. Easy enough, right? Ugh, oh, my hero! Belle, quit it. Ladies, time to get in the lake. Heavenly flames, water is ice cold. I think it's pretty refreshing. So refreshing. He's really missing out, standing in the hot sun. Poor thing. Come on, girls, follow me. We're done swimming for today. Go back to your cabins and get changed into something more athletic. Athletic? I refuse. Why? Physical activities are important. To maintain a healthy body. Exactly what Violet said. Look, I just don't do activities like that. I can't afford to damage my skin. Fine, Naomi. But you need to be here. Meet back at the volleyball field. Sorry I missed your call and messages. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Can we talk now? to talk about them. <laughs> sure. You know, I guess I can sympathize with those girls in some weird way. I couldn't resist you, after all. Don't be. But, this just proves one thing. The distance is too much. Things keep getting in between us. It's breaking my heart a little more every day. No, it's okay, really. I don't want our feelings to hurt us. I think we just need some time alone. Thanks. Thanks for being honest with me. I have to go now. Bye.
don't know how to feel about it. Don't rush your feelings. They will come. I hope so. It's really confusing me. Hmm. Sorry, I thought I heard something. I didn't hear anything. What do you think I should do? Well, you could wait and see if your feelings go away or... You could tell him. Then you'll know for sure. Maybe it's mutual. You can make him notice you. Hmm. I'll try and see how it goes. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? Well, okay. Do you know where you need to be? You don't think he was listening to our conversation? No. Would we'll never do that. You're finally here. I could have sworn you played Red Rover as a kid. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. So, ladies, first form a line side by side and hold each other's hands. You too. Proof of this lineup. As do I. Let's share our world. Okay, now that you're all lined up, wait a second. Naomi, you're really not going to join us? No way! You heard what I said before. My skin is too delicate to play in the dirt. Okay, fine. We'll continue without Naomi. I'll get more out of this by watching anyway. Next, we'll need a runner. To start, I'll show you how it's done. Ladies, and you, hold on tight. Here I come! Great job, Defenders! I wasn't giving it my all since that was mostly for demonstration. <laughs> Stop teasing me. Now that you've seen what you'll be doing, I'll join the line. The next runner is... Belle. I come! Catch me! Made it! Try to beat that! Great job, Belle. Next is Stacy. May the puncture and flame lend me strength. Looks like your flame fizzled out, Stacy. Why must you say such things? Good attempt, Stacy. You'll get it next time. Violet, you're up. I feel like this is a bit unfair. Don't worry about that. We'll do our best to stop you. Okay. Then here goes nothing. Are you okay? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you so hard. I'll make sure to be more gentle with you. <laughs> you took quite a hit. Again, sorry. It's okay, Violet. It was an accident. But I think that'll be it for today's activities. The sun is going to set pretty soon. We can all change back into something more casual for the campfire tonight. You all have some time to kill before that begins.
Eve wanted us to meet her back at the house. What do you mean? What happened? Taking a break. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I heard that. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope what I said didn't cause this. I'm so sad to hear this from him, but a part of me is, I understand. Well, now that you're a free man, what are you gonna do? That's a good approach. Don't go too crazy though, unless it's with me. Maybe you'll get lucky and she'll ease up on you. Is he really thinking that much about the girls? Well, my last piece of advice to you is this. What Eve doesn't know won't hurt her. Just don't forget about me. Hello. It's fine. I was just finishing up anyway. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Good. Well, I'll leave you to it. See you later. There you are. Hey! I know it may feel like you never rest, but I have another task for you. I swear it's the last one for today. You've done a great job today. I really do have to hand it to you. Anyway, I need you to go collect kindling and start the fire. The sun is setting, so you don't have much light left. If you don't want to work in the dark, I hear you're prone to clumsiness. You should go get one of the campers to help you, to save time. Oh, and take this. You'll need it. No, I was just practicing a form of meditation. <laughs> no, no, I would look very different if I did. I would enjoy doing many things with you. Yes? Oh, 
Thank you for picking me. You allow me to offer tribute to the Heavenly Phoenix Lotus. Fire is the light of life. I am attuned to the kindling, for I am the kindling to the HPL. Good, I enjoy the look on your face when you're flustered. just beginning. That is a shame. The flames may still hunger for more tribute. That is very thoughtful of you. Should you choose to join me. Who shall prepare the tribute tonight? Um, who will start the fire? Yes? Your kindness will be remembered by the Heavenly Phoenix Lotus. You will be rewarded well for this. There's more of that waiting for you. For now, we must prepare. May the charred kings keep you safe. <laughs> I meant safe from yourself. You are prone to extreme clumsiness from what I've witnessed. you've returned. With proper tribute, I see. Wonderful. The fire will burn passionately. Hmm? I feel your fire burning brighter than before. You seem light like fallen ash. I am sorry for you. In a conflict? Turmoil? That's wonderful. I am here for you if you need to talk. would still allow me to pay tribute? Then, let me begin. I am nearly ready to begin. You gave this to me previously. A piece of paper with immense value. Precisely, it will be the heart of the flame.
Of course not. The Heavenly Phoenix Lotus forbids curses. As I said, this will be the heart. The kindling is the flesh, and the logs the bones. All the ingredients needed for a sacred tribute. Now we need a spark. Thank you. Such a beautiful sight. Thank you for tonight. I have not had the chance to pay tribute like this for a while. We should be more subtle. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Dr. Eve. You guys really did a great job with the fire. I hope you supervised her. Great. Now we can begin. Ladies, take a seat around the campfire. Wherever you feel most comfortable. You can join us too. This could be helpful for you as well. No, tonight is something more lighthearted. So we're not playing spin the bottle? No, Belle. <sighs> That's so lame. You don't even know what we're doing yet. Hey, you may even enjoy it. Tonight we'll be playing Life Highlights Game. This is a game usually played during team building gatherings. I know. This is something my daddy has the subordinates play. He said it makes him more productive. In turn, making us richer. Can I continue, Naomi? Go right ahead. We'll go around the circle and talk about the biggest highlights of our lives. Well, of our lives so far. To help you understand what I'm asking of you, I'll go first. A highlight of my life is a trip I took a few years back. I was working hard all year. So I decided to treat myself. I've dreamed of visiting Paris ever since I was a teenager. Ah, uh, Paris! How romantic! One night I met a charming stranger. His name was Emile, and he had the most piercing blue eyes I have ever seen. I told him I wanted to float down the Canal St. Martin eating brie on baguettes. A glass of fine red wine in my hand. And he promised me he'd be the captain. So, we went off on our date. And he kept his promise. The weather was beautiful. It was a warm autumn day. He arrived at the hotel with baguettes, swine, and brie. Got all dressed up as a mime and ferried me down the canal. Really? A mime? Yes. What did you do to this man to make him be so romantic with you? Belle, if you let me continue my story, maybe you'll get your answer. Yes. Wow. I hope I'm lucky enough to meet someone like him one day. Another highlight of my life was building my career into what it is now. I dreamed about helping people my whole life. And now I have the opportunity to help. That's all for me. Violet, would you like to go next? Sure, I can go next. Well, my life's biggest highlight has to be... Hmm... Probably the time I won gold at the Children's Gymnastic Nationals. I trained for three years for that event. And then two days after my 10th birthday, I got to compete. For me, that was the best birthday present I got that year. And it was a present from past me to me in that moment. 
Me standing on that mark, ready to give it my all. I heard the crowd fall silent as I prepared for my first step. Actually, it was more of a leap. A leap that led into the most flawless routine I've ever done. Even to this day, that one is the most perfect. When I finished and landed on my feet, I raised my hands to the air. The entire room remained silent until the judges became clapping. The crowd followed. I was famous for a day, but I didn't love the limelight. I love that perfect moment when my form was flawless. That's all for me. Wow, Violet. Thank you for sharing that with us. I'm sure you'll top that moment in the future. Thank you, Dr. Eve. Okay, next up is Belle. Please make sure to keep the highlight PG-13. Well, that excludes like 90% of my highlights then. I'm sure there are some in there that aren't exclusively Loon. Then... I think I have one. I think my highlight is the day I started being an e-girl. E-girl? How to put it? A hot online girl that has an army of... fans. Well, the day I began that hobby, I knew that was my destiny. I got to dress up in sexy clothes. And take them off. All for my fans who shower me in attention and money. But one thing it really did is unleash my sexuality. I've never felt so free yet also in control. And on top of it, I have tons of men under my thumb. That sounds like a highlight to me. Well, we're not here to judge. So, thank you for sharing, Belle. I just wish I could share all the time. If you could, then it wouldn't be as special, no? Anyway, next up is Stacy. Thank you. There is no memory more worthy of this honor than when I was made one with the Heavenly Phoenix Lotus. I was just starting college, and I was a confused, little girl. I was confused, purposeless. I did what all college students do. Partied, went wild, had tons of sex. But I found no solace. After a few aimless months, I met a disciple. A bringer of truth. A purpose. He brought me to where others of his flock gathered. They took me in. We became one. I was reborn with a purpose. Stacy, it sounds like you had an orgy. We did not. That came later, during lessons. That night we became one with the sacred flame of the heavenly phoenix lotus through meditation and ritual. We were embraced by the charred kings, forged together like him. That was the highlight of my life, becoming a petal in the heavenly phoenix lotus's corolla. That was very poetic, Stacy. Thank you. Naomi, are you ready? I'd rather not do this, but okay. The highlight of my life is my entire life. <laughs> Thank God I was born rich. Naomi, please take this more seriously. You heard how honest the others were being. Ugh. Okay, fine. There was a time when I was little that my parents took me to our private island. I got to swim with dolphins and bask in the sun. Things were simple, relaxing. That was the point in my life where my parents weren't always busy with work. Or hosting luncheons or galas or any of that shit. I actually just had a really nice time with my family. And we were having fun spending time together. That's it. See? That wasn't so hard. Thank you, Naomi. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about you? You've been sitting there quietly for a while. Why don't you join us? What is your highlight? I'm sure any will suffice. Come on, you have to spill it. The Flame would like to hear your tales too. I wouldn't mind hearing one of your stories. We all know most of them are about me, right? <laughs> what? You're serious? Hmm?
Hopefully it's just that, nothing more. That was a bit... brief. Thank you anyway. I think we'll end it there, it's getting late. However, all of you may spend a bit more time out here until the fire dies out. It will be a tragedy when it does. Enjoy the rest of your night, everyone. Now that the buzzkill is gone, let's have some fun. That's your cue, Naomi. Guess what I have. I guess Naomi found my secret stash. What if Dr. E found that? I just blame it on. <laughs> I'm serious, I swear. Oh, come on. Give it here, Naomi. Hey, you bitch. You better not drink it all. You think I'm that desperate for a drink? I don't know. Your job seems pretty hard. You must throw back a few tall glasses of vodka a day. I just want to get in the mood. Let us just enjoy the fire as it burns. Pass the bottle to me, please. I agree with Stacy. Let's all just relax. Oh, does that mean this pro athlete will drink with us? Well, I don't know. It is only 100 calories per shot. Hmm. So much thinking. So little action. Okay, okay. Uh, can I have a sip? May the ashes be soft and warm on your skin. Uh, okay. Thanks, Stacy. I'll take that as a yes. What was that look she gave me? Get a room, you two. I was being polite. One must give the appropriate amount of eye contact when sharing a drink. Here you go. Ooh, frat parties? Did you learn to crush pussy there too, big man? like you weren't before. Now you're free? No more girlfriend to drag you down. You're terrible at keeping secrets. You also talk pretty loudly. Kiara, I'm so sad Jane and I broke up. Guys, come on. It's so fresh for him. Did... And his girlfriend really break up? Is a part of me happy about this? Look, learning this has been a bit of a downer. Let's make things fun again. How about... spin the bottle? Let's consider it a DLC for the day's activities. A kinky DLC. We'll play Spin the Bottle. Everyone knows how to play that bell. Except, maybe. I have different rules. Listen. We go in a circle and spin the bottle. Whoever the bottle points to, you have to kiss. What makes it different is that you need to take a shot if it points to you. Before you kiss. No, why is that? He'd surely be executed. I promise we'll be discreet. You guess? You get to play a fun game with sexy girls and your answer is, I guess? Good. You better. What the hell? I 
don't want to kiss Belle. The game is rigged. You just wanted to play this for some lesbo action, didn't you? Naomi, you know I choose a hard cock over a lesbian kiss any day. That is true. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Now it's my turn to spin. Oh, isn't this a surprise? Come here. That was better than I expected. Oh my god. Looks like you get a little piece of him too, Violet. Come on. You should be happy. I am happy, but I didn't think it would be like this. Okay, if it's up to me, then I need to take the chance. Violet, you can't chicken out like that. Here I was thinking you were this fearless Amazon. Turns out she's just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 I'm not a chicken. If they want to see my Amazon inside, fine. There. Was that good enough, girls? I think his face says it all, Violet. I think that's enough for tonight. Fire burns low. I'm beginning to get kind of tired. I woke up pretty early. Though, not as early as you. Yeah, yeah. We all know you do yoga, Violet. You have better plans for the night? Naomi, he needs to jerk off after all the sexual tension. She always interrupts my beauty sleep. Are you entranced by what you see? I think you're aware why I'm here. Then we'll be sure to stay quiet like fallen ash. Come to me. We're being quiet naughty sneaking around like this. I feel the sparks of excitement bouncing around in my heart. So I can't say I don't cherish this. I'll step softly like ash.
You truly are a man of noble ash. As did I. You pleasantly surprised me. I pray we dance like Rising Spocks again in the future. Good night. I'm just tired of feeling like a ghost, even though I spend my summers here trying to help. I'm invisible to her. Yes, and I'm tired of it. Kiara is her golden girl, while I'm just seen as the little girl. It's okay, what can I expect from someone who's barely here? I know. I just hope we have more time to hang out. Sure, what is it? <gasps> what? Is that your big mystery? You think... No. No way! Why would you think I'd do something like that? You thought I wanted to spend time with you so badly that I'd resort to tying you down to make sure you didn't get away? <laughs> yeah, it sounds real dumb. Ah, here, I can give you some help. You know, there is someone at camp who would want to do something like that. Someone whose name starts with a K. Then it looks like you need to talk to her. Kiara is so... ugh. I think I'm going to head back to bed now. I'm getting tired. Especially of this conversation. Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks for listening to me. Night. <laughs>